Do you need a voltmeter, a battery strength tester, and an OBD2 scanner, but you don't want to buy all three? Well, here's your solution. It's three, three, three tools in one. So this is an OBD2 scanner, an electrical test tool, and it also tests your battery health. So these guys sent me this to test, so we are going to test it on my rare and extremely valuable Swedish automobile and see how it does. And let's take a look at the features here because if you've watched my other review videos, you know that I've always forget to mention stuff. So works 96 and newer. That means it doesn't work on my truck, but it does work on my car. And all of these good things. So there you go. Hit pause if you want to read all the good things you can do and I will show you all the good things that I did with it. So in this handsome suitcase, this is the Autel Autolink AL539, and if you want a UPC code, if you're trying to find it on Amazon, there you go. Open her up and see what's in here, boys. Oh, it's beautiful. So we've got our scanner. The, the neat thing about this scanner, most of these scanners are powered by your car and they only work when they're plugged in, but this one has its own power source and you can charge it with USB it's also able to store data earlier when I was practicing with this I ran a test on my car and if I wanted to review it I can go in here and see my numbers from earlier when I was checking my car in the comfort of my own home so it comes with a set of cables you can hook up to your car to test the strength of the battery. It comes with a USB cable that you can use to plug it into your computer. It comes with software along with the user's manual that you can use to update it. And then this can be used both to charge it and to interface with your computer. And then these, these leads you can use when you want to use it in voltmeter mode or amp meter mode. And then of course, you've got the plug-in to the ODB2 slot Yeah. So let's see what it can do. All right, this is the start test. Let's see what she does when I start up the car. So, press OK to continue. So it's saying my battery is weak, which I already knew, so that works. All right, we're gonna try the ready test here. Turn the ignition on and hit OK. And it's just checking in with all the different emissions parts. The ready test is what you'd want to run before you take it in for a smog check. So it will tell you if any of the parts that it's going to test for emissions capability are good or not. And so green check mark means good. And then the where's the beef no symbol means that your car doesn't have that. So we're all good. We're all good. We're all good. And even this little light comes on to let me know that I'm okay to go check it for smog check. All the hardware is in place and responding and looks good. Let's take a look at some live data with the engine running. So you can see the engine coolant temperature, see the load, see the RPM, rev it up. Vroom. Spark advance, throttle position. So anything you need to know about what your engine knows about itself is in here. Now another option here is to record data. So if I wanted to record this to look, to look at later, I can hit OK here. I can tell, give me the complete data set. Press Enter to start recording. Enter being OK. And then I'm going to press Escape to stop. All right, so now I hit escape. Okay. So 
So now I've got that saved for later. So if I wanted to go in later and look at it, there's data in there that I can study while I'm in the warm house, rather than having to plug this into the car every time I want to look at it. Pretty cool. All right, we've hooked up to my dirty battery here, and we're gonna run the battery test. Press OK to continue. Uh, what kind of battery is it? Regular cold cranking amps. It, your battery will say on top what how many amps it's got. This one's a 640. So six foot uh, so I program that in. Waiting. Replace battery. So it's got 406 cold cranking amps. It's supposed to have 640. They want me to replace it. This is a little, a little flat four putt-putt engine, so that's probably enough amps to crank it over. If I was in the truck, I'd probably need a new battery, but I think uh, we'll, we'll run with this one. We'll roll the dice. But now I know exactly how weak it is. In voltmeter mode, you can test for voltage, uh, DC, AC, I don't know what that is. And then uh, you can test a diode, so see which way the electricity flows. And then if you want to test amperage, it'll go up to 20 amps. You don't want to test anything that's more than 20 amps or 200 milliamps if you have something teeny tiny. So as a simple example, how much voltage is in this little battery? 1.59 volts. Ooh, I get 0 0.09 bonus volts in there. It's supposed to be a 1.5, so there you go. And of course, it also checks ODB2 engine codes. I just don't have any codes currently on my car that are lit up, so I can't test that, but all in all, I like it. It's a great tool or combination of tools. Thank you very much, guys. And there is a link in the description if you want to buy one of these.